Hey guys, what's happening? I'm driving Miss Daisy today. Miss Daisy's not sitting there though. I dropped her off already. She's shopping. And um, she's camera shy anyway. So yeah, I'm in downtown Tarpon Springs, Florida. And I'm at the very end of the road here and we have uh, the seafood place. And we have Rusty, Rusty Belly's Waterfront Grill. If you ever get to Tarpon Springs, Florida, you have to come down here. They got some really good seafood. And let me turn around and we'll do a little drive by downtown. I can't even find a place to park here. Of course, this is Saturday. This is Saturday, so a little heads up, folks. Don't come to this town on a Saturday or Sunday. Hit it during the week if you're down here touristing. Yeah. All right, let's just drive around here a little bit. Hopefully we won't get uh, run over or killed. Come on, buddy, come on out. I know you wanna go places. They got commercial boats out back here behind this restaurant and the seafood place here. Commercial fishing boats right over there. But we won't go down there. Let's just give you a tour of downtown here. Yeah. Need a tattoo? You need a tattoo or body piercing? There you go. You can get some of that. now I'm heading back to the east this is the road to centers the uh, Tarpon Springs we got a little roundabout here come on there bud a lot of a lot of Michiganders down here, people from all over, touristy, tourist attraction. Tourist, tourist trap, I guess. We got Sweetie's Ice Cream Parlor. You've got all these shops along here. Tons of them. They thrift shops. They sell sponges. All kind of trinkets. Both sides. Busy place. They have parking here. If you can find a spot, five dollar parking. Over here, we're coming up on the left over here. You've got all the sponge boats. This town is noted for their sponge diving, sponge divers. See that building there? You got the sponge diver, you got your mermaids swimming with turtles. There's a thatched roof there I'm not sure what that is but here you've got Hella's if you ever get here guys come to this place right here Hella's bakery oh boy they got a big restaurant here this is all their place this is their bakery over here and here's their restaurant they got an excellent Greek salad here yeah Homemade soap company there. Over here are all of the uh, boats, commercial boats. You got commercial fishing boats. But the majority of these guys here in this town are sponge divers. And uh, believe it or not, I guess the natural sponge 
still has a high value has a very high value and, they, and these guys make a living at it here's a sponge boat right here I don't know what these young fellas are doing here they've got some kind of scaffolding setting up here for something uh, this is where Miss Daisy I dropped her off there's all kind of shops back in there clothing shops whatever yeah over here you've got some big boats up big shrimp boats over there and um, there's a dry dock there that big that big red boat is pulled up on a dry dock repairing the bottom or something on that here's another shrimp boat there's some more of them right here come on fella don't give me that dirty New York look he's got did you see that that guy gave me a dirty New York look on his face all right, here's some more shrimp boats here. Yeah, here's some here's an old timey shrimp boat right here, and check out the and check out the sponges they're drying there. Here's an old timey Greek boat here, and look at those big sponges hanging there drying. Just there's shops on both sides. Uh, I've eaten in this place before. That's pretty good too. Some more parking here. Here they give you a cruise. There's some crew people here. There's some more and getting in the tourist trap here and. Uh, yeah, there's a girl there. She was looking at me. She was looking at me. Did you see her looking at me like that? She's trying to wave me in to do, uh, take a little cruise on her boat. Yeah. So, this is a little quickie tour of town. There's some more stuff over this way. On these back streets. Uh... But this place is busy, like I said. The place is busy, and there's all kind of just shop after shop selling stuff. Down here, I'm going to take you down here. This is the old Pappas restaurant. This thing was famous forever. And old man Pappas died, and he gave it to the kids, and uh, apparently they couldn't run it, whatever. They ran the thing into the ground. But this thing here, this whole building was real famous. It was called Pappas's Restaurant for years, and now they got a for sale sign on it. And it's been shut down basically for quite a few years. Uh, the other people have tried to go in and uh, get it going. Oh, uh, there's a little dive shop right across the street there. Little dive shop. There's some more shops over here. Different things. There's just little shops all over this town. I'm going to go around the corner here and uh, on a back street here and see what we can see. I'm right now on alternate 19 heading southbound. Let's go down this street here. I've eaten at this place before, but now it's shut down by the looks of it. They had some good seafood and it looked like it went Italian, and the Italians didn't make it in a Greek town. Go figure. And they got little, you know, they got residential places here. And uh, whatnot. There's another place that's going under for sale, for lease. So that's pretty much it guys, I just thought I'd give you a little tour of town. 
uh, I used to do back in the day. Uh, well, it was late 70s, 80s. I used to do a lot of, I was into scuba diving pretty heavy. And we would go, I'm, I'm heading back west right now. And uh, look at there, guys. There's a, there's a mermaid with all of her clothes on right there. Did you see that? Anyway, uh, yeah. I used to do a lot of scuba diving straight out here. Uh, not very deep. It's only like 30 feet. There's some artificial and some natural, uh, natural reefs out here. Oh, here's our girl again. And uh, let's see if we can get her. To, see, see if we can get her to wave at. Oh, she waved at us. Okay. Anyway, uh, we used to do a lot of uh, spear fishing out here. And I really enjoyed that. We did that for years. And then my buddy's boat burned up in his driveway. He had a 23 footer. It burned up in his driveway. And uh, something he was working on. And he went into launch and a starter fell down. He forgot to uh, disconnect the battery. And it caught the whole rig, our dive boat, on fire. And burnt it to the ground. And that kind of wrapped up our diving career. Uh, so here we are back here again, same Rosie. Some big party boats, commercial fishing boats in here. But we used to spear a lot of fish out here and on the artificial reefs. Uh, we would get some big Jewfish too. They're called, uh, you have to be politically correct these days, they're not called, they made them stop calling them Jewfish. Uh, these fish would get up to 400, 600 pounds. And um, they got puckered up on the name Jewfish, and so they had to change it to Goliath Grouper. Okay. Now, I don't know why we don't change names of everything if we're going to go that far. Just, you know, you got the spade fish, and, uh, you know, that could make somebody mad. And then you've got uh, other groups of people. Uh, we had the puffer fish out here. You know, you'd think you'd, you'd make somebody mad on that group. Um, but anyway, the Goliath grouper, we used to get those, uh, a lot of those. And actually, we got so good at it, uh, they shut it down. And that's been shut down for, oh, I don't know, about 15 years. But I've talked to divers here lately. They said they need to open that back up because they can't even keep their, their grouper on a spear. These Goliath grouper come out of nowhere and just suck down the fish right off your shaft. He said they are dangerous, they're bold, they come right up and bump into you. It's uh, pretty scary from what the guy, the boys are telling me. But uh, they know the law is still in place, no touchy, can't kill them. But uh, yeah, we would get them up to, the biggest one I got was probably 450 pounds. And uh, we actually, I had a, my buddy's neighbor was a machinist and he loved to drink beer and so we went down and bought a 357 power head um, to go on the end of our spear because you just if you speared one of these fish he, he's gonna just take everything and go but if you smack them right side of the head with the 357 sometimes you could put them down but a lot of times we're missing them so we took that we took that power head they were called power heads and we took that to my buddy's neighbor they were friends and I set that thing on the counter a 357 and I said and I took a 3030 accelerator bullet now the 3030 is neck down I think it's neck down to like a 223 uh, lead on it it's got a plastic reducer on it that goes in a 3030 cartridge i set that thing on his deck on his counter there and i said you see this 357 he said yeah i said get a good look at it here's a beer so i gave him a beer and he said all right my, my vision's getting better all right so anyway i said i would like to know if you could take if you could take this design and put this bullet in it. I need something with some power on my power head. He said, 
yeah yeah I said what's it gonna cost me so I'll tell you what you guys buy all the material you guys buy all that material and get it over here and just keep me in beer I said you got it bro he turned us out about 20 of them things and that was the ticket we could go down there guys and you could see one of them big old juice fish laying there and a lot of times you had to be stealthy they would get inside these pipes we, on the artificial reefs they they throw pipes in you know just storm pipes they, these would be 30 40 46 inch whatever big storm pipes and them things would get inside them pipes so we would sneak along in there with our scuba gear on slip along in there hang on one minute yeah so back to you I had the phone ringing anyway yeah so what we do we take turns and one guy would lay on his belly you just dump all the air out of your BC your buoyancy compensator you dump all that air out and you just lay there flat on, flat on the bottom like a rock right in front of that pipe cock locked and ready to rock and your buddy you first peek in very carefully you peek inside that pipe and you see which way his head is and your partner your partner would uh, indicate which side to get on if it was your turn to shoot so you would go in and you lay flat on the ground like I say you're ready to go you got everything ready to slam him and your partner would swim around the other end of that pipe and just slowly go inside that pipe and that fish you wouldn't freak him you don't want to freak him out because they can haul they can haul butt fast and you just he just crawls in like a slow moving crab inside that pipe and you're laying right there right there at the front end of that pipe you're your spear gun and that 350 or that 30 30 accelerator tip is sitting there not even four feet from that guy's face when he comes out and when he comes out you blast him all right and that 30 30 hit with such force the eyeballs would pop completely out of their head you just hit them right in that face plate on the side of their face and uh I know that's a little gruesome, and you and Kamala and Kamala and, and Cortez probably wouldn't like it. But anyway, that's how we did her, and uh, we got her done. And uh, but it's shut down now. But the boys say, you know, we got to open it up because it's crazy. We can't even keep our fish. These things are they're down there by the hundreds. I mean, they've completely recovered, and we did it for I don't know, probably five years six years before they totally shut it down and uh, so you don't want to kill them now because you're going to get but you had when you kill one of them big fish you had meat for a long time i'm telling you can fill the freezer up hey guys there's your tourist there's your little story for the day and uh get down here you, you know you've got some uh some good looking women down a lot of old parts too see all these old parts you you, you see all the white-haired old farts okay that's enough shenanigans for one day guys i'll see you on the next one be happy bye-bye